Its harbor, Richardson Bay, docks over 400 houseboats. Graphic designer and avid cyclist Jeff Carino wanted to downscale his hectic San Francisco lifestyle. While out on a bike ride, he saw the quiet bay and decided to go with the flow. It's everything I could ever have hoped for. It's home for me. I've only been here a year, and I know I'm never going to leave here because it is just pure magic. It's like this little undiscovered secret world within this wonderful town. This two-story ultimate floating home is only 800 square feet with two bedrooms and one bathroom. But it's packed with engineering wonders that in the end cost over $1 million. People often ask me, what's it like living on a houseboat? Does it rock and move a lot? And does it make you feel seasick? And the answer is yes and no. In the summertime, there really is very little motion at all. But in the wintertime, we get a lot of storms. And it does move around noticeably. Unlike regular boats, a floating home requires a specialized foundation to support the living space above. This concrete hull is tougher than any wooden one, though it took six weeks to build and cost $40,000. This one has about three feet between the floor and the bottom of the hull. And this has two really important features. The really nice effect of having this space between the hull and the floor is the fact that it raises up the floor. And that means when you look out the window, it has the effect of feeling like you're on the water rather than submerged in the water, which is a little bit more typical of a floating home. It has access to all of the mechanicals, like the furnace and the pumps and such. Also, it acts as a nice bit of storage. There's over 400 square feet of storage down here. Innovative architecture makes the most of every square foot, especially in the second floor living area. It's not very big, but the first impression people get when they see this place is that it's bigger than it is. And that's because of the way it's built. Here, claustrophobia is not a problem. There are 61 windows in this house. That's a lot of windows. It lets in a tremendous amount of light. Total cost for all 61 windows, $40,000. There's one very special window in the first floor master bedroom. I think the coolest feature of this house has got to be the 14-foot wide double hung window. This one actually goes down and disappears into the wall. This has the amazing effect of just opening up the whole bay and making you feel like you're living out on the water. From here, you notice how close we are to the water, too. You can actually reach out and touch it from here. The effect when you open up all three windows is just an amazing illusion that you're actually a part of the water. It's really very special. It changes the entire feeling of the house. Living inside and outside simultaneously is amazing, especially here in the Bay Area, where our weather is mostly good most of the year. There are many days of the year when these windows and doors can stay open the entire day, the entire night as well. But all those windows presented another challenge. There are few opportunities for wall studs, so traditional framing wouldn't support the structure. Engineers opted for a solid steel frame with wood finishings. The curved trusses under the roof are much stronger than straight beams. And that strength allowed these punch outs to be formed, which allowed more windows to be put into the ceiling here. From the outside, that creates the effect of making the house almost look like a cable car, which enhances the whole San Francisco theme. One of the best features of this home is the sliding glass doors. Uh, they're very expensive, but most people agree that it's totally worth it. These doors cost about $15,000 to put in, but the effect is amazing. It gives you this feeling of living outside and inside at the same time. The kitchen has everything you need for a bayside meal. Thanks to some creative engineering. We don't have the normal stand-up refrigerator, but the refrigerator is actually comprised of four different parts. 
we've got these pull-out drawers, and then something more like a mini bar sort of feature here. And then these drawers are all freezers. The whole feeling is a lot more compact, simple, clean, and organized. There's not a lot of space, and so it really requires that you think about what you own, think about what you don't need to own, and the whole house forces you to live a little bit more Spartan and more simple. And simple can be incredible in an ultimate floating home like this. When you live in the houseboats and you live on the docks, each dock is like a small town. And you really get to know those people. Your dock is special. Do I ever see myself going back to a normal land-based life? No way. This is it for me. And to be able to live in a place where people instantly just feel happy and excited and relaxed and thrilled, it's like nothing else. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. I really do. Nestled in the heart of Seattle is Lake Union, home to a neighborhood of waterborne houses. When Mike and Patty Sherlock became empty nesters, they decided it was finally time to make good on a lifelong dream. Basically, I grew up by the water on the water. I like being on the water. Patty loves the water. And, you know, we've kind of been all over different places in the world, different cities all over. Um, I just don't think we could ever be anywhere else but right here. This $4.5 million floating mansion is a massive 4,700 square feet with three bedrooms and four bathrooms. She's built for anchored luxury, but amazingly, she's also seaworthy. They christened her Aurora. The reason why we named her Aurora is because we're underneath the Aurora Bridge. The historic bridge is worth being named after. Completed in 1932, it's 167 feet above the waterline and is the last link of the Pacific Highway that connects Mexico to Canada. But zoning laws threaten to sink the plans. In the 60s, they actually took off 3,000 floating homes off the lake. And the only ones that could be on were ones that were on original barges, floating barges. To keep their dream afloat, Mike and Patty would need a mighty big life ring. Coming up. Whenever there's something that can't be done, something can be done. And the struggle to save an historic paddle boat. When we got it in 1958, she was just a rotten shell sitting along the Oakland Estuary. And it was just amazing to have the ferry boat alive again. Race night, the 405 versus Texas Grudge Racers. I'm gonna get your whooping. These guys aren't just street racers, they're total hustlers. Are we done or is it next race? Street Outlaws, Monday at 9 on Discovery. We were below the 88th Southern Parallel. We had traveled for over 850 miles. My men driven nearly mad from starvation and frostbite. Today we make history. Bienvenidos. Welcome to the South Pole. If you're Dora the Explorer, you explore. It's what you do. What took you so long? If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. You did it! Yay! Friday's 5 for 5 makes everybody happy every hour, every day. Five different 5-buck five apps, 5-buck five jack sliders, 5-buck boneless wings, prints and drafts, 5 bucks or less. 5 for 5, every day's a happy Friday. drive your friends around as long as I can drive I'm happy to help you don't need to earn a paycheck to work hard 
Working together, we'll make sure you spend your retirement the way you want to. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm at the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. Encore, the expectation-shattering crossover from Buick. Wow. Now pay no interest for five years, plus get $750 purchase bonus cash on the 2015 Encore. It's time to get your hands on a RYOBI. During RYOBI days at the Home Depot, there's new lower prices and special buys on the tools you need. RYOBI One Plus, the one system that delivers more. Available only at the Home Depot. Now get this four-piece lithium-ion super combo kit for only $129. I typed my name, and Ancestry opened the door to the world's largest online collection of family history records. Discover your story today at Ancestry.com. Ten nuggets for $1.49 are back at Burger King. A deal so good, it'll put a smile on anyone's face. Ten nuggets for $1.49 are back, only at Burger King. Summer is loaded with little adventures. So make the most of every sun-filled summer day with a refreshing Lion & Kugel Summer Shandy. It's our refreshing vice beer with natural lemonade flavor that says, come on by, without having to say a single word. Our family's been brewing beers in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin for six generations. And this one says summer. So grab a summer shandy and join us out here. This is a very important hunt for us. Take the shot. Careful, man, careful. Are you okay? All new Alaskan Bush people, Friday at 9 on Discovery, and catch up on demand. The city of Seattle is known for rich coffee, grunge rock, and one eclectic neighborhood of floating homes. On picturesque Lake Union, Mike and Patty Sherlock run a successful houseboat design business. When it came time to build their own, they sketched out a massive design unlike anyone had ever seen. But the city wouldn't issue a permit. So they charted a new course. We're not a floating log barge. We're an actual yacht. We're a documented vessel. This is a motorized house. She's built basically like a home, but she has all the systems as a boat would have. That was how we were able to come onto the lake. After piloting through that loophole, construction of this seafaring palace began with a team assembling the home in a shipyard two and a half miles away from the dock. I didn't have carpenters, I actually had shipwrights. They're very meticulous and they can figure out corners, even if they're level or not level. Nothing straight in a boat. So someone different. that can make things look beautiful and when nothing is straight, that's a whole different level of craftsmanship. And it's, it's another skill and they don't, nothing is just thrown together. When I commercial fished, we had a, like a little eating area. And so we put a little eating nook in our house and we can sit here, have coffee in the morning, and we can look out over the canal. We see the boats coming in. In the center, a craftsman staircase connects all three floors. On top, the master suite. Here is our master bathroom. We made the ceiling follow the roof line because we like the cabin look. Even on a big boat, you want to make the most of space. We put a captain's bed here, so we have drawers and storage underneath. And above, a helm for when the home is at sea. When she's docked, the space becomes a sitting area. We put a day bunk up there. We have a little desk, but it's also kind of a fun place to go up and uh, read a book. This is a theater. We can slide the screen down. She has reclining chairs. All the chairs have shakers in them. What they are, they're great big giant bass magnets. The magnets take cues from a movie sound 
and shake at a heavy bass level. If a, a dinosaur is walking by you, each time he takes a step, you feel that. It's one of the toys. Once they completed the complex three-year build, the real headaches began. We had no idea all the things we'd run across <laughs> and the different issues it took to put them in the water. It's not your regular lift, pick it up and put it in the water. We're talking about a million pounds. To move the house into the position for the cranes to pick it up, we had to have a moving company pick us up and put us on hydraulic dollies and drive us over to the landing area where the cranes could put us in. It took about three days. We only went about 250 feet. The next challenge, lifting the Aurora into the water. Originally, this crane was gonna be the one that was gonna only have to pick us up. But when they came in and they started eyeing everything and looking, they said, we can't do this. So you're gonna have to get another crane in there to help us. And the only other crane on the West Coast that could help them was the Foss 300. The Foss 300 is a massive steam crane that was built for the US Army in World War II and can lift 200 tons. Mike knew a crew who could run it. And all those guys were retired. Every one of them came back just for this one job. They secured the smaller crane to the dock and brought in the Foss 300 on a barge, a floating crane to lift a floating home. When that thing starts working, it's got great big steam engines, and it sounds like a dinosaur. It sounds like a locomotive taking off and starting, and then you got steam shooting out, you got cables creaking, and you're just hoping that it doesn't, um, nothing breaks. The picking up was in very slow motion. The cranes had to work in tandem. Here you have this crane that's on a barge with two tugboats moving it, and pulling it out as the other crane is swinging. Once we got to a certain point, the big hydraulic crane started to tip, so he had to come down, and luckily we're in deep enough water to where we didn't get stuck on the, yeah. the beach there with the house. Yeah. With the gorgeous water literally under their feet, Mike and Patty wanted to make sure they weren't stuck inside on beautiful days. So they built a deck and patio area. We need it more room to be outside because when it's nice, that's where you want to be. After five years, Mike and Patty completed their personal labor of love. It's a special, special home. It is. And you know, so. we both built it, and so that even makes it more special. And uh, I know I wouldn't want to ever be anywhere else than I am right now. On Sausalito's Richardson Bay, in an area called the Salt Cedar Waterfront, investment manager Chris Tellis, his wife, and their 20-year-old son live in an ultimate 19th century historic paddle boat. This area has always been home for Chris. It was a great place to grow up. Our backyard was the bay. Kids visited each other by using rowboats. We sailed, we swam. It was really different and wonderful living on the bay. In fact, Chris grew up on this same boat, though it was a very different structure when he was a kid. Originally built in 1888, the SS City of Seattle ferried people between ports until World War I when it was bought by the military. Chris's parents bought it 10 years later for $1,800 and moved the family in. When we got it in 1958, she was just a rotten shell sitting along the Oakland estuary. It was just basically rafting sitting on the bottom. Raising the boat on concrete pilings kept it from sinking to the floor of the bay. When Chris got married, the newlyweds made another vow to completely restore the ferry from stem to stern. Now, this 8,000 square foot, four bedroom, two bath home is worth millions of dollars. The SS City of Seattle is the oldest surviving ferry boat on the West Coast. The City of Seattle is really a, the icon of the neighborhood. It's been here longer than almost any other houseboat. And people know that it has several hundred years of history and they recognize it. When you have a historic vessel and you're the steward of that vessel, it feels like there's a certain responsibility to maintain the boat. Chris wanted luxury but also wanted to preserve the vessel's roots. 
So this is the master bedroom, and this is a classic example of a conversion of an historic boat into a living space. And what you see right here is the original paddle wheel for the ferry boat, which used to be totally enclosed, because if it wasn't, then it would be splashing water on all the people who were riding on the boat. But what we did is we took out the interior and the outside wall so that you get a wonderful sculptural element within your bedroom, which you look through in order to see the water and the bird life on Richardson Bay. And it also provides just enough privacy so that you don't worry about those pelicans looking into the bedroom at the same time. One of the other defining characteristics of the ferry boat is this enormous opening in the front. That's where the automobiles and before that the carriages used to come on board. What we did is we took this opening and rather than closing it off, simply enclosed it with glass so that you could maintain this fabulous panorama of the bay and the skies looking south on this particular end. But to get this home to float, they needed to renovate the hull, annihilated by insects. There's a worm called the Torito that can take a 4x4 down to a 1x1 one one in a year. This is a former 4x8 post that used to come down, connecting the deck of the ferry boat to the bottom. And as you can see, this entire thing has been sculpted by the worms who ate it. But they leave a beautiful sort of lace pattern before, which looks quite beautiful, but is deadly to anybody who's a boat owner. It meant lifting 300 tons of historic ferry boat that was ready to fight back. Coming up. You know, I sometimes say that I had nine lives. I gave up five of them on that project. And buying and rehabbing a dream home over and over. It was a remodel from hell, and I promised myself I would never sell it a third time. Race night, the 405 versus Texas Grudge Racers. These guys aren't just street racers, they're total hustlers. Are we done or is it next race? All new Street Outlaws, Monday at 9 on Discovery. We snap it. We stack it. We smush it. We love it. Hershey's makes it a s'more. You make it special. Hershey's is mine. Yours. Our chocolate. On June 19th. Here we go! What movie touches every emotion? Inside Out. Inside Out. Inside Out. Inside Out is wicked smart. It's a good one. It's the best Pixar movie since Up. This feels nice. Wildly original and inventive. Simply enormous fun. Ah! Brain freeze! One of Pixar's most creative films ever. He's making that stupid face again. What is it, woman? What? Disney Pixar's Inside Out, June 19th in 3D, rated PG. You've heard of a win-win, right? What about a win-win-win? Pick up the limited edition metallic droid turbo by Motorola. Water repellent, up to 48-hour battery life, and ballistic nylon back. That's your first win. Plus, it's only on Verizon, the number one network. There's your next win. Now for the final win. Get $250 when you trade in any smartphone. And get 10 gigs of data for $80 a month and $15 per line. The win-win-win. A new way to save without settling. Only on Verizon. Some people are married to the idea that fresh salads can only come from salad places with fancy bowls. So do I believe Wendy's can make a summer salad this fresh? I do. This summer, try the strawberry field salad. War is hell. But for seriously injured Army Rangers, their families, and the families of the fallen, peace can be held too. It's up to us to lead them back. Support Army Ranger Lead the Way Fund. Ease the costly burdens of rehab and vital living expenses. Our son Jimmy Regan would be the first to give. And he was. What's that thing? I moved our old security system out here to see if it could monitor the front yard. Why don't you switch to Xfinity Home? I get live video monitoring and 24-7 professional monitoring that I can arm and disarm from anywhere. Hey, the awkward teenaged one has arrived. Switch to modern security. Add Xfinity Home for $29.95 a month and lock in your rate for two years. Plus, save up to 20% on your homeowner's insurance. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. 
Christmas. There's nobody out here but us. Idiots. There's some crap that box. Come on, you faithful. I hope the whole world has peace. I can be twice as mean as anybody on this boat. Did you just threaten me, dude? This guy wants to kill you. I'll put you on the deck. What happened? We need a lot. Kill! Exactly what I want to do on Christmas. Deadliest Catch, Tuesday at 9 on Discovery. And catch up on demand. In Sausalito, California, Richardson Bay is home to lots of floating houses, but not one like the remodeled historic ferry boat called the City of Seattle. When Chris Tellis renovated his boyhood home to a floating mansion for his wife and their son, he first installed a new 200-ton concrete hull costing $250,000 to get it off its pilings and back into the water. The idea of being able to bring it back to life by refloating it, it just seemed like it was something that had to be done. Which means we had to figure out how to raise a 80-ton ferry boat up in the air and put a new hole underneath. Massive chains hoisted the beast. Then, a pair of 50-ton jacks held it steady while the new hull was installed underneath. The ferry boat was basically suspended by chains and completely open underneath. At one point, the ferry boat suddenly slipped down and a 50-ton jack went over my shoulder and about 250 feet out in the bay and landed with a big splash out there. You know, I sometimes say that when I had nine lives, I gave up five of them on that project. When they lowered it back to the water during low tide, they had to wonder, would it float? I had taken the old ship's whistle and run a cable down to a piling so that when it floated, it would blow the whistle, and so we'd all know. And then the tide came in, and the thing floated, and it moved again. <laughs> it was just an amazing experience to have the ferry boat alive underneath us, rocking again after all that danger and stress and the years of doing it. In its glory days, the stack vented smoke from the boat's engines. It was Chris's job to keep it in ship shape. When I was a kid, about 12 years old, I used to have to shimmy up the inside of this thing in a bosun's chair and grind the inside and paint it with lead paint. During the remodel, Chris and his wife considered removing the stack. However, six steel cables anchor it to the deck. Without that support, the boat might collapse. So the stack acts as a kind of king post tying together the structural integrity of the vessel. And to make sure no one ever had to clean the stack again, $10,000 worth of water and rust-proof epoxy was applied, guaranteed to last a century. The couple wanted to maintain the original ultimate flooring for a floating home. These decks are made of virgin cut Douglas fir, which was milled around 1885. And you just can't find wood like this anymore. These planks are all two and a half, three inches thick, and there's not a single knot in them. There's no nails. It was all put in with spikes. If you look at the little circles, you can see where the spikes went in. The floor sits below the water line. The birds can't see through these windows, but you can see out. So you get a wonderful picture at eye level of all the waterfowl that comes and visits us in Richardson Bay. This ferry boat weighs 300 tons, and you get almost no sensation of movement. The only way you can really tell that we're floating is when you look at the lamps, and you'll notice that they're swinging a little bit. By renovating his childhood house, Chris preserved a notable piece of boating history. I felt like I had an obligation to my parents. I also was planning on making a family myself, and I wanted to have my son or daughter grow up here. And, in the end, that's what happens. I have a son now who's 20 years old, who's grown up in the ferry boat. It will be his, and it'll be several generations in our family. There's no place like this. You know, it's 8,000 square feet on historic vessel on Richardson Bay, and it's just a beautiful house in a beautiful location and in a beautiful neighborhood. I've lived here all my life, and I wouldn't live anywhere else. On the calm waters of Seattle's Lake Union, motivational speaker Neil Peterson purchased his ultimate floating home twice. I bought it as a place for a bachelor, and then I got married, and she did not want to live here, so I sold it. And then one day I was taking my two young kids to see where I used to live, and I brought them down the dock, and the houseboat had a for sale sign on it. 
they opened the door and the kids went in and they just loved it. Long story short, I was able to rebuy it and I promised myself I would never sell it a third time. For Neil, the location is perfect. Lake Union is literally in the heart of downtown Seattle. It's really an urban experience and yet we're on a lake. This 1,000 square foot, two bedroom, one bathroom floating home is beautiful now. But in the 10 plus years since he'd lived there, the place had deteriorated. I decided that I would do a very small six month, $50,000 remodel. Turns out it needed more care than anyone guessed. Coming up. It was a remodel from hell. It took four years and a heck of a lot more than 50,000. And an impossible plan for an ultimate home. I thought he was absolutely crazy. This is a very important hunt for us. Take the shot. Careful, man, careful. <laughs> Are you OK? All new Alaskan Bush people, Friday at 9 on Discovery, and catch up on demand. when you aren't treated like a priority. We do things differently. We'll take care of it. We put members first. Thank you. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. 10 nuggets for $1.49 are back at Burger King. A deal so good, it'll put a smile on anyone's face. 10 nuggets for $1.49 are back only at Burger King. They say after seeing a magician make his assistant disappear, Mr. Clean came up with a product that makes dirt virtually disappear. He called it the Magic Eraser. It cleans like magic. Even baked on dirt disappears right before your eyes. Mr. Clean's ma See those two stars above the crest? We earned the first in 91. But America has conquered the world! That one in 99. Chastain, she scores! See that third star over the crest? No? Well... Just wait. Your Bay Area Hyundai dealers are a proud local broadcast sponsor of Fox Sports 1's coverage of FIFA Women's World Cup 2015. A message from the Pulaski Law Firm. A government study reports thousands of workers have been diagnosed with asbestos-related mesothelioma. To compensate those affected, asbestos trusts have been established with $30 billion in initial funding. You may be entitled to financial compensation without ever going to court. Act now. Call 1-800-222-3803, 1-800-222-3803. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma, get the best care available, then call us. Mesothelioma, don't fight it alone. Serial thriller, Angel of Decay, a three-night event. Premieres tonight at 10, only on Investigation Discovery. Race night, the 405 versus Texas Grudge Racers. I'm gonna get your whooping. These guys aren't just street racers, they're total hustlers. Take your down, where the came from? Are we done or is it next race? Street Outlaws, Monday at 9 on Discovery. Freshwater Lake Union is one of Seattle's great gems. City residents and visitors love to fish, sail, and swim in its calm waters. But a lucky few get to live right on the lake and enjoy those nautical hobbies right outside their door. Neil Peterson moved his active family here, back into his old floating bachelor pad, and needed to redo the place to accommodate his two kids. We used to have a kitchen over here that was a separate room. 
and I took away the wall to open up this area so that you're one big living, dining, and kitchen area where everybody can communicate back and forth, and it seems to work pretty well. And what about the huge refrigerator blocking the views? Hide it. So what we've done is we've put the refrigerator underneath the counter in these sub-zero drawers, which worked just beautifully. He had to do something about the original cloister windows that were rotting away. After searching for two years, Neil found and flew in a top-of-the-line craftsman from Brazil to refurbish the windows. Final cost? $55,000. If somebody was really curious, they could sit out here in their boat with binoculars and they could get a pretty good view if they really wanted to, but so far nobody's done that. Fitting everything in took smart planning. The houseboat has 1,000 square feet. With that size, you've got to be very careful about how you store things, where you keep things. The views make this place. And so we hid the TV, but we can take it out if we want to. But for Neil, the best part of this ultimate home isn't inside. When people walk in, the first thing I do is I take them outside. I take them over here, and I open these sliding doors. They slide all the way into the wall. To be able to walk, you know, a foot from the water and to be able to jump in the lake, swim, get in the hot tub that I've got out here. It's difficult to match this view and the feeling that one has when one's sitting here and hearing the float plane come in that you're hearing right now. And the central location makes it even better. You can do every single sport every day of the year here. I can be in Mount Rainier, I can be skiing up at Snoqualmie Ridge, salmon fishing, I can be uh, playing golf. I can do all of this within an hour of where I am. On his second life in this floating home, and spending over three and a half years to complete the rehab, it's all smooth sailing. I mean, I think it's sort of a lesson in life. A lot of things that are really important happen after a lot of toil and turmoil and trouble. And I think this is an example of that because the end result here, as you've seen, is, is absolutely spectacular. It's a vibrant place. That's really special. In Texas, between Austin and Houston, is the tiny town of Round Top. Population, 90. But even in small towns, everything's bigger in Texas. Like the glass and steel home of construction company owners Daryl and Cindy Quinney. Even before the build began, they knew this quiet, woodsy corner of Texas was right for them. This is absolutely the best place in the world to drink beer, fish, and tell stories. So they purchased 25 remote acres for their private country compound. And Daryl dreamed up an unusual plan for an ultimate home. When Daryl told me that he wanted to build a house in the middle of the lake, I thought he was absolutely crazy. For one, there was no lake on which to put this 2,700 square foot, three-story home. Not even a puddle of water. But Daryl wanted the home perched above a huge lake. No sweat. Make one. Coming up. We had five dump trucks out here, and for 120 days, we dug every day for nine or 10 hours a day. Merry Christmas. Nobody out here but us, idiots. There's some crap in that box. Tell them all you paid for. I hope the whole world has peace. I can be twice as mean as anybody on this boat. You just threatened me, dude? This guy wants to. Kill you. I'll put you on the deck. What happened? Bleeding alive. Kill. Exactly what I want to do on Christmas. Deadliest Catch, Tuesday at 9 on Discovery. And catch up on demand. Palm Wonderful Pure Pomegranate Juice is more than just full of antioxidants. It's packed with a burly battalion of free radical impaling antioxidants. Palm Wonderful. Crazy healthy. 
Ask Sherwin-Williams during the four-day super sale. Save 40% on paints and stains June 5th through the 8th. Visit SherwinWilliams.com slash save to find the store nearest you. Friday's 5 for 5 makes everybody happy every hour, every day. Five different 5-buck five apps, 5-buck five jack sliders, 5-buck boneless wings, drinks and drafts, 5 bucks or less. 5 for 5, every day's a happy Friday. For those who can't imagine life without two wheels, Allstate offers a genuine parts guarantee that promises to fix your bike with original parts. Talk to an Allstate agent about all the things they do to keep riders riding. Oh, no wonder no one has eaten this sandwich. Kids discover the world with their mouths. Detergent is harmful if swallowed, so keep laundry packs up and away from children. Brought to you by Tide. What's keeping you from getting a great night's sleep? Mancini Sleep Roll will have you resting easy in no time during our largest mattress sale ever. Right now, save $1,000 on a Serta Luxury Resort mattress set or upgrade to adjustable comfort for only $6.99. With no interest for up to 48 months, the savings really add up. Our family started Mancini Sleep Roll in 1969 and we're committed to providing you great value and a healthy night's sleep. Hurry into one of our 32 stores for this limited offer. Mancini Sleep Roll, visit sleepworld.com. What if you could use your existing home security equipment like wiring, motion sensors, window sensors, and keypads to get more peace of mind and save money? Now you can by switching to Xfinity Home from Comcast. You'll get 24-7 professional monitoring, cellular backup, and live video monitoring from anywhere. Use and warranty your existing equipment and save. Plus, for a limited time, get a free security camera. Call 1-800-XFINITY or go online today. Mom set us up with a matchmaker to help us guys find some girls. My brothers are kind of like wild animals living in the woods, and they don't always know how to act civilized in front of ladies. Nice to meet you. It's good to meet you. Hug. My best hope scenario for this, she grabs my hand and we go running off through the woods. We start climbing trees. We crawl through some mud. That would just be perfect. All new Alaskan Bush People, Friday at 9 on Discovery, and catch up on demand. The starring attraction of this 25-acre private compound in southeastern Texas is Daryl and Cindy Quinney's Ultimate Lake House. We bought the property about three years ago as a getaway in the country, and one thing led to another, and here we are today with, I believe, one of the most amazing places that I've ever seen. A three-story home in the middle of a lake. When they began the project, the first step was to build the lake. They started digging and digging and digging 30 feet deep and four acres around. I have two wells on the lake. Each one of them will pump 125 gallons per minute. I turned those wells on and it took 17 days to fill the lake. According to my calculation, there's a little over six million gallons of water. In true Texas style, it's an independent take on a floating home. The house doesn't actually physically float. The house sits upon nine piers that were drilled 20 feet below the floor of the lake with concrete bell-bottom piers and with all the proper engineering to withstand the structure for 100 years. Lots of work, but also tons of fun. I have a construction crew that the best guys in the whole world. This was a dream to me to be able to come out here every day and physically work with the rest of the guys. Now, visitors can park in the carport on the shore cross a 50-foot steel bridge, and head for some fine Texas grub. I built the kitchen this way with the long bar with the intent of not needing a dining room table. I would love to have the family sit at the long bar for family gatherings. Taking up the space for a dining room table would require a dining room, which to me would have been a waste of space. All along, it was a bit of an improvisation. I designed it kind of day at a time. I never had a, an official set of blueprints. 
which required some give and take. Originally, I wanted to put an elevator in the house. Miss Cindy absolutely would not allow it. I decided to go with the spiral staircase. It actually is built around one of the main support columns for the house. But the $6,500 tightly wound spiral staircase became a problem when big furniture pieces arrived. They had to bring in a crane to hoist everything onto upper floor balconies, then hauled the furniture through the large windows that opened fully. My favorite part about the house is the second floor. I love to wake up early in the morning, get my cup of coffee. I read, I just watch the deer. It's just, it's very relaxing to me. The master suite is the home's only bedroom, taking up the entire top floor. This third level penthouse was a last minute addition. After the first two were complete, Daryl and Cindy wanted more and had number three fabricated on shore, then craned into place as one piece. And this is absolutely a dream to wake up in this bed and look out and see all of the beautiful nature that's here. And with feeding stations, you can get that nature to come to you. As you can see, some of the deer are coming in to feed. This particular doe, we call her Penny. She's the most tame. And if we're not careful, she'll walk over here and, and try to eat out of your pocket. Daryl's home may rock, but it doesn't roll. For spins around the compound in ultimate style, there's a $120,000 garage full of horsepower. This is my room. I love antique cars. My wife allows me to have a few antique cars here. I can lower this car by simply pulling the safety device and hitting this hydraulic lever. Daryl also wanted the perfect spot for a favorite pastime. Another thing we like in Texas is our guns. So he built an elevated platform detached from the house, perfect for an afternoon of skeet shooting. I have a few shotguns out here that uh, we use for shooting skeet. Daryl and Cindy spent two years and $5.3 million building the paradise on the lake. I've built a lot of things in, in the last 30 years. I've built some pretty extreme and unusual things. And I like to spend time out here and looking at this property because I don't think I can ever top it. North of San Francisco and Sausalito sits Waldo Point Harbor, a private marina docked with 245 floating homes. Nelson Scott, owner of a house painting company, moved here when he was 10 to live with his uncle. Nelson's home in the harbor is now a nine bedroom showpiece with an impressive array of medieval antiques, even its own lily pond. But when Nelson was a kid, the home's rotting foundation required all hands on deck attention. Coming up. To support it, we built concrete forms. And coming from a long line of painting contractors, what we had for forms was paint buckets. You drop 40 grand on a new set of wheels, and wham, a minivan T-bones you. Guess what? Your insurance company will only give you 37,000 to replace it. Depreciation, they claim. How can my car depreciate before its first oil change, you ask? Maybe the better question is, why do you have that insurance company? With Liberty Mutual New Car Replacement, we'll replace the full value of your car. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Summer is loaded with little adventures. So make the most of every sun-filled summer day with a refreshing Lining Kugel Summer Shandy. It's our refreshing vice beer with natural lemonade flavor that says, come on by, without having to say a single word. Our family's been brewing beers in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin for six generations. And this one says summer. So grab a summer shandy and join us out here. 
I went to Ancestry.com, but I thought, I'm not going to make it very far. And then it happened. I got a leaf. I could actually see my grandfather's draft card from World War I. And it all started with my first leaf. Brookside Chocolate now has a crunch. Brookside Crunchy Clusters. Crispy multi-grains and sweet fruit-flavored pieces dipped in rich dark chocolate. Discover Brookside Crunchy Clusters. People say that the world is getting smaller. That there are few surprises left on Earth. We suspect that the people who say that just haven't been to Texas yet. The Texas Great Outdoors. Explore it and other wonders at TravelTex.com. Ten nuggets for $1.49 are back at Burger King. A deal so good, it'll put a smile on anyone's face. Ten nuggets for $1.49 are back, only at Burger King. Local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the TLX. Let's do this. Let's move outdoors for the next few months. Let's build a kitchen under the clouds. A dining room with no walls, no ceiling. Let's put it all together. Then let's get together a lot. Let's do this. Plant color everywhere with 12-pack annuals, just $9.98. The Home Depot, more saving, more doing. So here I am in the middle of nowhere with my customer, and I turn around, and there's three rattlesnakes. <gasps> oh, right at the good part. Hey, Dave. I got it. I got it. <sighs> what? We got a meeting at noon. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Don't worry, Rob. You're covered. Okay, sorry. Where was I? State Farm agents are there whenever you need them. You are staying here. Tyler is talking to me like people talk to their dog. I don't need help. Are you sure you don't want me to put a bandage on it? I don't want a bandage on. I'm fine. Infection could take him out. All new Naked and Afraid, tonight and every Sunday at 10 on Discovery. Merry Christmas. Nobody out here but us. Idiots. <laughs> There's some crap in that box. Come on, you faithful. I hope the whole world has peace. I can be twice as mean as anybody on this boat. You just threatened me, dude? This guy wants to kill you. I'll put you on the deck. What happened? Bleeding alive. Kill! Exactly what I want to do on Christmas. Deadliest Catch, Tuesday at 9 on Discovery. And catch up on demand. With its breezy weather, calm waters, and rich boating history, Sausalito, California is one of the premier locations for floating homes. House painting company owner Nelson Scott began working on this one when he was 10, alongside his uncle. My uncle bought this place in 1959. When I got here, it was still a boat. My introduction to this house was Somebody handing me a skill saw at the age 10, and I've been here on the waterfront in some degree ever since, and I can't shake it. I don't want to shake it. It's fantastic. He and his uncle spent years shaping it into a one-of-a-kind medieval palace, stocked with their eccentric flea market finds that reflects their quirky personalities. Today, the 4,500-square-foot, nine-bedroom, six-bathroom home is worth $2 million. When the rehab began over 20 years ago, the barge supporting it began to disintegrate. Their floating home was in danger of sinking. But they had a plan with an unusual twist. To support it, we built 
concrete forms. And coming from a long line of painting contractors, what we had for forms was paint buckets. And we'd pour a little form, and you put steel in it, and then you put a block and a post and a beam. Creating ingenious submerged concrete and steel pillars with an odd outer layer. Underneath this house is over 800 paint buckets, because we never cut them away. It solved the problem of sinking, but changed the home's classification. It's now transformed itself into what they call an arc, which is a non-floating structure that is on pilings, basically. Its status as a floating home was revoked. Nelson has a plan for that. Now, our proposal that's been approved by the county is to take this whole structure and build a concrete hull and raise this house to where it floats again like it did. Nelson and his uncle packed the place with treasures discovered at shipping yards and garage sales. Their favorite early finds were these medieval-style chairs, which inspired the unique theme. We bought these, and the next thing you know, we had shields and tapestries. A must-have period sideboard was so cool, they decided to retrofit the space around it. The room here you see is all built around this sideboard. This sideboard here dictated the height and the measurements. The molding is a lighter alternative to wood, but looks just as impressive. The foam-based material has weight savings that will help when the home floats again. This room alone took a year and a half to complete. The Lux hot tub with the faux heraldic tapestries fits the old world theme perfectly. They saved thousands by installing it themselves. Once the spa was in place, they built the octagonal tower around it. All this wood is unattainable now. It's a kiln-dried, clear grain redwood. The intricate joists and decking for the ceiling were all cut freehand without a blueprint. Just by guile and technique and zen. Nelson and his uncle worked together on the home's interior and landscaping for more than 20 years and continue to work towards their goal of floating the palace once again. It's not easy. It's a passion. It's a joy. It's just a unique lifestyle. This is paradise. Whether you're looking for backcountry lake top living or urban waterborne style, whether you're bringing history back to life or just looking for a place to slow down, if you have the foresight, the creativity, and the sea lakes, living in an ultimate floating home might be the answer to your nautical prayers. Bye, indeed. Love you. This is Brent.